Nicole, this is the Scorpion. All quiet in quadrant five, but I'm ready for anything. Over. Control, come in control. This is the Scorpion. All quiet in quadrant five. Over. Control, do you read? This is the Scorpion. How's things with you? All right, all right, Stuart. This is Charmaine in hall number five. Everything's quiet. Stuart, we have been through this before. I am guarding masterpieces here. If thieves know they're being guarded by the scorpion, they're going to think twice about stealing them, aren't they? Stuart, 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 I've come up with this great line. You steal and I sting. Stuart, play back the surveillance footage. You'll see my scorpion moves. Charmaine takes her job as a security guard in the art gallery very seriously because she knows those works of art are valuable and impossible to replace. They are called masterpieces. A masterpiece is an artist's greatest piece of work because it's an example of all their skill and excellence. Did you know that you are God's masterpiece? A masterpiece is priceless, and so are you. That means you're valuable. Priceless does not mean there is no price. Priceless means you are so valuable, you are beyond a price tag. No amount of money could replace you. You are unique. You are no forgery. A masterpiece is a unique, one-of-a-kind creation. There is no one exactly like you. Even if you're one of identical twins, you are a one-off. Someone may copy you, the way you dress or do your hair, but they'll never be you. And God knows you inside and out. You are protected. An art gallery takes all kinds of measures to protect its priceless masterpieces. Well, you've seen the scorpion at work. Highly trained guards watch for any suspicious activity or person. There's 24-hour security camera surveillance. There are motion detectors. There are alarms triggered by lasers. But even with all that state-of-the-art technology, art can still be stolen. Thankfully, you're a precious masterpiece that is protected by God, and no one can trick him. He has super surveillance. You can count on God's protection. You are on display. People will travel the world to look at art. They will stand in a queue and wait for hours to see a masterpiece. Guess what? You're a masterpiece on display too. People are watching you and how you live as a Christian. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. You've been created new in Jesus, so you can do the good things God planned for you long ago. What are those good things? Not just doing good things for people, although that is important. It's pleasing God in everything you do. You really are a most valuable, beautiful, beloved and protected masterpiece. When you believe that, living for God and pleasing Him is easy. The thief. Did you know there is someone who wants to steal you away, just like a thief wants to steal precious art? Jesus said in John chapter 10 and verse 10, The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy my purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. Jesus is talking about the thief, Satan. 
Satan is wanting to steal you away, not so he can look at you and admire you, but so he can hurt you. He is a thief and a vandal. But he's no challenge to Jesus. Jesus has overcome him. And Jesus wants you to have a life full of joy with meaning and purpose. Maybe you don't believe that you are God's masterpiece. Satan has been trying to steal you away with lies that God made a mistake when he made you. Or maybe he's been trying to vandalise you with unkind words other people say. Time to shine the torchlight and set the alarm so God's protection is around you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, we tell the thief to go. He has no right to harm your precious works of art. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to minister to each one so they realise how important and unique they are and how irreplaceable. Thank you, God, that you have a purpose for everyone, a reason for them to be here. And thank you, God, that you are all-seeing, all-knowing and everywhere at once. Only you have that kind of super surveillance. Amen. I wonder what Charmaine would do if we told her she's made in the image of God and more valuable than the masterpieces she's guarding.